Maxwell, where did this idea come from? Uh, a mistake on our 3D printer. Mr. Layer, uh, my business partner Peter Dilworth, uh, wanted to take the nozzle head off, fill in the spot, put it back. Wanted to know why the heck you couldn't do that. I said, wait, why can't you do that? So we took apart one of our 3D printers the next day, we hacked it together, we even printed out a little 3Doodler, put it on there, and it was this chunky, nasty thing that barely worked. But it worked. So then we made version one. That's version one. This is version one. We kickstarted it. We raised two point three million dollars, twenty six thousand backers. We sold one hundred and thirty thousand of these. Wow. Worldwide. Um, I got a lot of responses. We got a lot of feedback. And you know, V ones often have little glitches here and there, and things that can be improved. This is significantly improved. Not only is it smaller, it's smoother, it's faster, it's easier to use, it's easier to fix if there's any problems. Just the whole thing has been redesigned and reimagined. So we put it back on Kickstarter. Uh, on Monday, this Monday, we put it on Kickstarter already. It's been going for a couple of days now. It's a, six, it's a 20 day campaign, so we have 16 days left. And we're really excited. It's $99, comes with four packs of plastic, and it ships in weeks. About six months from now, uh, we start shipping almost a couple of weeks after the campaign closes up. And we start shipping out to all our backers. So we're really excited about it. What our backers are going to start doing with this. Uh, so you're, you're, you'd like to say thank you to Kickstarter for making it possible. I do like to say thank you to Kickstarter for making it possible. That's why we did our second campaign. This would not ha we would not, not be seeing this without Kickstarter. We would not be seeing this at all without Kickstarter. We did approach some other companies when we first came up with this concept to sell them the concept. Um, however, they just didn't see the value in it. And what is your background? It, 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 I'm computer science uh, for college, but I spent four years working for Maui. Which oh, is really? A robotics toy company. Oh, I know them. Yeah. I lived in Hong Kong in the factory management, concept development. I'm the creator of such products as Rovio, RS Media, Chatterbots. Uh, I brought around 15 products to market. Uh, this was like the 15. This is the 16. <laughs> so oh, wow. uh, I've had a lot of experience in manufacturing, and that's part of the reason we were able to deliver this on time in the provided area. That's also the reason that this is done, ready to go, and why we're, I'm very confident to say that we're shipping in weeks, not well, six and months from now. Based on the attention I'm seeing at your booth here at, at CES, I think it's working. I think it is. I, I hope so. I enjoy doing it, so I'm really happy that people seem to enjoy using the product. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Thanks.